Guardians of the Galaxy is directed by James Gunn and stars Chris Pratt, Zoe Zaldana, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel and Dave Bautista. This was originally seen as Marvel's biggest risk and could potentially be seen as Marvel's first flop. However, since the release of Guardians of the Galaxy in 2014, it has been known as Marvel's big risk that paid off big. This movie also gave Marvel the confidence to explore some more strange characters and concepts for future films, such as Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, and as well as banking a Guardians sequel. And this was a risky move, but with a stellar cast and absolutely flawless soundtrack, this film had its audience definitely hooked on a feeling. The movie starts with Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, who comes across a mysterious but powerful artifact known as the Orb. It turns out that a lot of other bad guys really want this Orb, and this also leads to Star-Lord trying to keep it in his possession so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. However, when a group of ragtag heroes end up in the same place at the same time, they all band together into a group that call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy so they can stop their common enemy, known as Ronan the Accuser, who has all affected them in individual ways and who may affect them in the future, so they are forced together to defeat their common enemy. Every member of the cast is flawless. Chris Platt plays a Han Solo-esque lovable rogue outlaw who goes out to find treasures which he turns in for money. This is what he was planning to do with the orb at the start of the movie. Zoe Zaldana's Gamora was a character with close ties to the villain, however I felt her character could have been a bit more developed so we could have seen how she became the badass warrior she is today. Vin Diesel plays a humanoid tree named Groot who is an extremely strong and powerful character who is a tree of few words but you can still connect with him and he was just a joy in this film. Dave Bautista plays Drax the Destroyer who is a brutal warrior that wants revenge against the villain of the movie who killed his family. Drax was an absolutely hilarious character in this film which I found to be a really surprising twist. Now, let's face it, Rocket, he's a legend, he is such a smart ass and he always has a plan and his banter is unmissable. When he gets into an argument with Peter Quill, you don't know who will win the verbal battle as their back and forth cannot be matched and Jesus Christ, he's a talking raccoon who uses huge guns. Enough said. Now, did this movie suffer from the Marvel villain problem? Unfortunately, yes. Ronan was fine, but he was just very generic and forgettable, which brought the movie down a little bit for me, as he was just not convincing. Ronan was just not that threatening, and you know that he is the number two, as he is just the one serving under Thanos, who is the true big bad of the MCU. Ronan had a really cool design, to be fair, but other than that, he was a pretty uninspiring and didn't quite live up to the villains such as Loki or the Red Skull that we had seen in previous movies in the MCU. I cannot give enough credit to the effects in this film. The space setting looks so amazing with all of the lasers and sci-fi action beats this movie features and it was wonderful to watch it all on screen. The spaceship fights in this movie are so fun on top of that. I get a very strong Star Trek vibe from this film due to all the alien races, the effects, the weapons, the vehicles and much much more very much reminded me of the Star Trek universe. I mean, <laughs> Star Trek and Marvel? Well, I'm not going to be one to complain about that idea. I have to hand it to director James Gunn. He really understands this universe and its characters and he is so willing to have fun with this franchise. He knows he has the most off the wall franchise within the MCU and there is so much he can do with it and he is not afraid to explore these elements such as bringing in Ego the Living Planet in the next movie coming soon. Also, James Gunn knows how to nail a soundtrack as every song featured within this film is an 80s classic that will be stuck in your head for a long time. So much so I have downloaded the soundtrack on my Spotify playlist. Overall, I believe this is the runner-up for the best Marvel film, just beneath The Winter Soldier, as it is fun, different, unique, and something very special, and the potential for this franchise is so broad that the ideas and possibilities that could be introduced are infinite. And all we know is that James Gunn will explore these ideas just to meet the demands of the fans, and just to have a bit of fun on the side. So with that, I have to give Guardians of the Galaxy the grade of an A, because it just does pretty much everything right, it's just the villain could have been improved to make a more convincing character.